All right, let's talk about E flat major. This is the last of our seven scales that we are working on. Uh, this one for violas, you're very fortunate. You have no shifting in this one, so violas, this one should be relatively quick to pick up. Uh, violins, you have quite a bit of shifting to do, uh, but not as bad as F major. So uh, a little bit easier than F major. It's got a little bit of a trick on the E string, but you'd be able to get that on your fingers. Um, cellos, you're not having to go super high on this one. And basses, you're not having to go super high either. <clears throat> so everybody has a little bit of work. Uh, violas have it easiest, but nobody's got anything totally crazy on this one. All right, so let's get started. Violins, you're gonna start with low first finger on the D string on the E flat. All right, so white tape, second finger's on white, third finger's on blue. Now this is the spot you gotta remember. Fourth finger has to be used. You have to play fourth finger on white. You cannot play an open A. If you play an open A, uh, that's an A natural, and there's no A natural in E flat major. So we wanna make sure you're using fourth finger. Okay, then you'll go to the A string with first finger on white, second finger on white, First finger on blue. We are shifting into third position. Second finger on white. Okay, so first and second are gonna be close together for this. All right, so just be prepared for that. Uh, all our other scales, well not all of them, but most of them, the second finger has been spaced away from the first finger when we get to third position. Not in this one, okay? So, first finger on blue, second finger on white. Third finger is on white between orange and purple. Fourth finger is on white between purple and green. Now this is the one that's a little bit odd. When you go to the E string, you're gonna put first finger on the red mark, okay? Because we're playing an A flat, okay? So A is on the blue mark, and then we have to, but we, we have to go down a half step. So second finger's on white, then we're gonna shift, and we're gonna put first finger on the white mark between orange and purple, second finger on white, third finger on green. That's where we're headed, okay? So, let's do that again. Fourth finger, no open A. Shift. Reach back. Then shift. Reach back. Fourth finger, no open A. Okay, so violins, you will notice we've not had any scales so far that had uh, red uh, marks on them. Technically, whenever you put that low first finger there on the E string, we're in second position, not third anymore, so that's why those are red. Really pay attention to where that finger's going. After you get done, reach back a half step right there and then shift up, okay? It is similar to F major, not exactly the same, but similar to F major in some ways. You just gotta make sure you get your fingers on your marks, all right? Uh, if you have any questions about that, please let me know. I will get you set up. Uh, viola, you're pretty fortunate. You're gonna start with a low two on the C string. Okay, so two. Third finger's on blue like normal. Uh, open G. First finger on white. Second finger white. Third finger blue. Open D. First finger white. Second finger white. Third finger blue. You cannot play open A. We have to use a low fourth finger. Fourth finger on white. Then go to the A string. First finger on white. Second finger on white. Third finger blue. Fourth finger white. Okay, so the only tape that isn't white that we're using on this is the blue one, okay? Uh, it's blue marks all the way across. If you look at the chart, it's super easy, okay? So, no open A. No shifting at all for viola, all right? Violas, if you have any questions about that, please let me know and I will do what I can to help you out. Okay, uh, next up, cellos. All right, cellos, so yours is similar to the violas, but because uh, cello fingers are a little different than viola fingerings, you will have to do some shifting on yours. Uh, you are gonna start on second finger on C, um, just like the violas do, but fourth finger, open G, low one, 
A flat, B flat on white, fourth finger uh, C on blue, open D, E flat, first finger, okay? Second finger is going to go on white. Now we're going to shift here to play to handle the A flat. First finger is going to go on G, blue mark. Second finger on white mark for A flat. Fourth finger on the white mark here for B flat. And then you're going to put first finger on the white mark on the A string. So you're going back to second position, similar to what the violins are doing. You're going to put third finger on blue and fourth finger on white to finish. So you're not going up very high. We just have to deal with the A flat. So we can't play the open A string. We have to play A flat. So that's why we have a shift in here. So let me put all that together for you. Shift. A flat. Then you're going to shift back. That's probably the hardest spot right there. Shift up. Okay, so follow your fingering chart. Uh, it's this one's a little weird whenever you have to get go to the A string. Okay, you're going to third position. We've done that a lot. But we don't very often play with first finger on a white mark between yellow and red. So that's a spot to look out for. Make sure you practice that, get that underneath your fingers, okay? So one more time. Shift, 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 shift. If you have any questions about that, let me know and we will get them figured out. All right, basses. To uh, finalize all of your scales, uh, we have another octave jump on this one. So we're going to start on E flat on the D string, then F, and then we're going to jump down to G. Okay, now you'll notice I went from, I went to second finger on G. It's a half step shift, but I did that because we have to play A flat with fourth finger. Okay, we can't play open A, all right? And then we're gonna go back to half position. Puts us back where we started. So, tape colors, white, white, second finger white, red, open, uh, first finger white, fourth finger, open D, E flat. And from there, we're just gonna keep going up, fourth finger's on white, G, a flat, low first finger, white mark. Then we're gonna go ahead and shift up, first finger on white, fourth finger on blue, second finger on orange, fourth finger on E flat, white. Okay, so let's put all that to work. Active jump is going to be the tricky thing, just like B flat major, uh, similar kind of thing. All right. So, basis, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will do what I can to help you out and make sure that we get our E flat major learned. All right. Uh, for everyone, you know where to find me if you need any help with any of this. This is our final scale we have to learn this year, uh, completing the seven most common key signatures that we play in. And so, uh, if you have any questions about any of this, let's get these mastery tests done, get these scales learned. And uh, I look forward to seeing your videos turned in. All right. Thanks, guys.